Welcome to Little Big Planet. See that little sack person standing there? That's you, that is. You can move around using the left stick. Push it gently if you want to tiptoe through the tulips, or push it all the way to race through the rhododendrons. From time to time, you may need to do what we in the business call a jump. Tap the action button for a cool cavalier hop, or hold it down for a great big heartfelt. In Little Big Planet, it's up to you to decide what's fashionable without fear of people pointing at you and laughing. In fact, the more funny looking you are, the better, really. Press the menu button to access your poppet. Now sharpen your pointiest finger and tap the customize character icon. Drag the list up and down with your fingertip to browse this wardrobe of wonderment. Or for more carefree browsing, flick the page and press it again as soon as you want to stop. A deft flick across the page and you'll find yourself in an altogether new department. When you spot something that looks just right, simply tap it to wear it. Not right? Tap it again, and it's off and back on its hanger. So, you've settled on a look then, have you? Finally! Once you feel ready to step out and meet your adoring public, just tap the back button to close Pop It. And then once more to close the menu altogether. What an eclectic mix of styles, colours and textures. It's... it's so you. In Little Big Planet, it is polite to express an interest in your fellow sack persons, or at least act as though you care. By using the directional buttons, you can display a whole range of emotions to show you're listening, even though you're thinking about what to have for tea. If it's good news, press up to show you're happy. Alternatively, press down to give yourself an air of glumness. Or if you hear news that terrifies you, press the left button. Or if you've been wronged in any way, press the right button to pull a face that's as tough as old boots. Tilting the PlayStation Vita system adds emphatic head movements to any conversation. Not too much, you'll get a crick in your neck. Lastly, if you hold down the L button, the left and right sticks control your arms. Way hey! It's called acting, not just acting up, but left, right and down too. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Come quickly! Lucky I found you in time! The planet Carnivalia is a bad place now. Ha! 
happy things go in? He pulls all the strings. And you are the boy sack, no? Well, we have one of those already. I will name you Sack Boy instead. I am Colonel Flounder. Once I was legendary ringmaster and pride of all Carnivalia. But no more. A puppeteer has taken all of the good from this place. Follow me! There is no time to waste! It is always higher than I remember. I will take you to the Marimeta, our secret camp. There, you will learn the skills that will prepare you for the road ahead. In the good times, the people of Carnivalia were bringing funny everywhere. Now, all we have left is a dream of the past. The puppeteer was once the greatest entertainer of them all. He pulled the strings, the puppets danced, and the world smiled. But the life of a puppeteer is a solitary one. As time passed, there was soon no joy left in him, and the magic began to fade, until one day, he hears the most feared sound in our world. The dreaded boom. In the wink of an eye, he threw everything away, and he vanished. One day, he returned, filled with rage. He was not the same. With his hollows, he took control of the carnival. So we ran like rats leaving a sailing ship. We must stop him, or we will soon reach the end of the road. Oh, Jinnit, the end of the road! Ah! <laughs> I was never really scared. Come, we have arrived. At La Marionetta. your quest! But this is merely the beginnings. I am hearing tales of hollows causing the trouble and the strife in a nearby place. So, like an old friend used to say, let us meet the challenge face first! We shall take the boat upriver. The time is now, Sackboy! Destiny awaits! With luck on the side, we will find the key to defeating the puppeteer. Strange new world, but the trail of clues is splitting in two, so we must do the same. Remember your training, little sack boy. A true Carnivalian shows no fear. Oh. Ah! 
Oh, a visitor. How delightful. I am Marianne Moisette, and this is simply odd. The land of odd, to be exact. Long ago, this place was a big pile of unwanted things, myself included. One day, I was magically put back together. By who? I don't know. But I knew it had happened for a reason. From that day, I have spent my time cleaning and fixing, rebuilding this broken world. But this land is overwhelmed by those nasty little creatures. They are forever breaking things up and stealing them away. Maybe they take them for their master to play with. And he should really find his own toys. You look like a brave little sack creature. Please, would you help me return the land of Ot to safety? What do they will do next? the data you collected from the factory. And it looks like the puppeteer's been stealing joy from all over the Omniverse. Have you any idea how important joy is to everything around us? The world depends upon it, like Jackpot City depends upon me. Without joy, and without me, things fall apart. Just look, it's happening already. Stop him before it's too late. I knew a puppeteer once. He wasn't evil, though. Anyway, what were you saying? That's right. There's only one brain that truly knows what's going on. The Mega Brain. Guys, didn't I tell you to refuel the ship before we left the lair? Looks like we'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. This is not the old-fashioned way! Give it up, you mega brain. Your evilness is no match for the awesome power of Sean Braun. Silence, Brainling! I will not stand for any more. Oh, did we win already? That depends. D 
do you think you'll ever... Um... Uh... Let me see. Brain. Something cool. Ooh, I got one. Okay, but this isn't over. Hey, this is a special crate. I always wanted to... Oh, hello. What a beauty you are. Sack boy, I have a great feeling about this trip. It's going to be magnificent. Sackboy, someone said Yahoo just now. Was it you? Yeah! <laughs> Why, hi there, Sackfeller. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Otis, the unbelievable Otis to be precise. <laughs> I'm the leader of this here group of daredevils, automatically selected and democratically elected. Woo! Boy, I'm mighty sorry about our little airborne bumping event, though. Uh, if I'd have known there was something up there to hit my head on, I surely would have tried to hit it harder. <laughs> but uh, times is hard for us right now. Folks in that mansion up there always trying to steal our juice. Happen I don't know why. But we can't stand to lose any more of that juice. These coasters ain't gonna roll their, their own selves. Anyway, you're stuck in Coaster Valley when you ought to be in Spooky Mansion. But Red ain't always yelling. This here head of mine can build just about anything it sets its mind to. And what we got here is the plans for a brand shiny new double barreled cannon. <laughs> All I need is a few more parts and this little beauty will be as ready as the daily news. Before you know it, you're gonna be cannon flying your way up the spooky mansion like your boots done gone out of style. Yee-hoo! Well, time she's a-wasting. Let's go find that first cannon part. Dang, boy! You took care of that with flair to spare. <laughs> You are natural born unbelievable for sure. Now let's go fix up that double barreled wonder. <laughs> well, here he is then, all cannoned up, ready to go. Carla Jane, set the tree jack guitar for the one and only spooky match. Right. So you want to go on one, or if you want to do it like three, two, one, go! No, no, Colonel Jane! Wait till I actually sight!
Hello. Most people use the door. Mm, but your choice, really. My name is Mrs. Sunshine. And my trail of smiles stretches for miles upon miles. And these wonderful people are my friends. Just don't get cornered by Miriam. She's got an imaginary friend called the Puppeteer. She'll be blathering on about lost puppets and stolen happiness till the cows come home. Yeah, he's real, isn't he? Bringing toys to life and all sorts. Cuckoo! Any road, I've been lost in this maze for absolutely ages. So if you're looking to get out, I thought I could tag along, you know. I know the mansion pretty well, so I might be helpful. Wanna play I Spy or something? Not you, Deirdre. You just make stuff up that doesn't exist. I said she saw some freaky fella the other day. Big old moustache, crazy eyes. She got a bit of a lolly, if you ask me. Recorder might have some music on it. But shall we have a listen anyway? This is an account of the secret experiments of Franklin Wordsworth Emerson, otherwise known as the Puppeteer. What? Is real? Day one. The joy extraction process has been highly successful. I believe I have enough to bring my first puppet to life. These miserable, empty creatures are a side effect of the process. I call them the Hollows. Day seven. The Hollows and I have different ideas of success. These monstrosities are nothing like my old puppet friends. Day 13. I have decided to suspend all experiments immediately. I can hear the hollows looking for me. Oh, please. We have to stop. You don't understand. Steve Joy to bring puppets to life. Ma could have told him it'd all end in tears. Well, it's a good job he didn't take any of my joy. What use is a miserable clown? Introduce myself. My name is Franklin Wordsworth Emerson. I am the real puppeteer. Being forever hidden behind the scenes, I grew lonely and bitter, and my shows paid the price. Full of anger, I threw my puppets away. When I came to my senses, I searched for them everywhere but to no avail. When my last tear fell, I knew I would never see them again. I became obsessed with replacing what I had lost. Creating life at the expense of others' happiness. But for once, the more I created, 
the sad that I felt. And I realized how lost I had become. By then, it was too late. I created a monster. Many of them, in fact. And these hollows weren't as keen to stop as I was. We've been imprisoned here ever since. Well, they continued in my name. All I ever wanted was to find my old puppets again. It's you, isn't it? Look, I never said it wouldn't collapse, merely that it was unlikely. How are you still in one piece? I have no idea. You're alive! Well, he's hardly in one piece, is he? I mean, look at him, and that ridiculous hook. Everybody! It is those nasty little creatures! What shall we do? Stand back. I'll take care of this. Quick, get the light. Stay still. Ha! Got you now. Guys, turn the lights on. I have the ringleader. Woo! That was fun! <laughs> Let's do it again! <laughs> My friends, my old puppet friends. <laughs> I thought you were lost forever. The Carnivalian is never truly lost, merely misplaced. Well, I'll bet there are all sorts of new creators out there now. So I suggest we pick up where we left off and get this planet doing what it does best. Who's with me? Ah, look at that. Joy has finally returned to Carnivalia, and Little Big Planet is safe once more. As the puppeteer and his unusual chums head off on their travels, we should remember this. There are those of us who dare to be different, and we have a world to build. A world limited only by our deepest imaginings. So when the muse pops round for tea, don't cower behind the curtains or crouch behind the couch. Open the door and welcome her in. Together, you can create wondrous things, and all it takes is a little dreaming, a little doing, and of course, a little big planet. <laughs>